Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 9th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have that plasma filament take off from the top right side there. We also have a large plasma filament or solar prominence erecting from the southwest region of our sun with five earth-facing sunspots. Looking the last 48 hours incoming, we do have two cresting sunspots and as well that solar prominence. Look at that on the left-hand side. Stretching and erecting very tall off the surface of the sun. CME taking off there from that plasma filament, not in an earth-facing fashion. No new CMEs to report or thwart it our way. But here's a closer look at that solar prominence and a little earth to scale model. You can see that's about eight earths tall of plasma filament. Amazing images here, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at multi-spectrum, showing all of the latest events on our sun. We also had a backside solar flare producing a large CME towards Mercury. Not visible here. Plasma filaments, southern hemisphere, and all of the active sunspot regions. Have another look here at our sun, 171 angstroms. You can really see the magnetic and solar fields in the heliosphere. Some pretty complex sunspot regions are getting ready to turn in. Look at all those loops. Definitely going to see some activity soon. Space weather conditions are sitting at minor radio blackout possible impacts right now. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range. Just recently saw another C-class flare after one more M-class solar flare. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP3 after hopping up to KP4. Real-time solar wind sitting at 430 kilometers per second. And it's been pretty static over the past 24 hours. ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off towards Mercury. That was a pretty hefty blast off the backside of the sun did create a halo CME, which is visible on Alaska 2 and 3. Speaking of which, let's have a quick look at Alaska 3. This is the last two days of imagery. There's that plasma filament took off from the nor northeast region. We also have Mercury coming into view. And then there's that large halo CME taking off from the back side of our sun right at Mercury. We'll slow this down for you and get a closer look. As well, watching the last image there, it looks like something went shooting by, quite possibly a meteor or something, but it definitely had a tail and it was caught here with that big halo CME and Mercury. So amazing sights here, Lasco 3. Schumann resonance for today, power of 15 and then a blackout. After being up over 60 yesterday, quick look at the telemetry. And your numbers for today, amplitude 15, quality 6.9, frequency max of 8.04. So all very healthy and low numbers here today. Having a look at earthquakes past 24 hours, we're seeing something brewing here. We're going to start with the most recent, Syn Synkic Turkey 4.3, and as well Italy yet again, a 4.3. They've seen four earthquakes throughout Italy and the eastern Mediterranean. Chile, 4.7, as well a 4.0 in Equique. So quiet South America, quiet Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, largest through the region, 3.7. Activity popping off here. Colombia, Mexico, 4.9, as well 4.7. Nicaragua, across the United States. Hermley, Texas, 2.8. New Mexico, 
4.2 here off the coast of Oregon, 10 kilometer depth, as well as 2.5 there, northern Washington. And then we get to Alaska, Adak, Alaska, the Tanaga volcano, quite possibly getting ready to awaken, seeing a large earthquake swarm now, and it is still continuing on. 5.1 earthquake here, Russia. Kamchatka, 4.1, 4.5. Katsura, Japan, 4.6. Quiet through the Philippines plate today, Indonesia. Timor-Leste, 4.7. Very quiet through the western ring of fire right now. Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, 5.1. No deep earthquakes through Fiji. Eerily quiet across the southwest Pacific right now. Also activity here in Tajikistan. But definitely a concern here through Alaska. As I pointed out yesterday, earthquakes were increasing. And now we have an earthquake swarm that is happening through a DAC. Looking across Alaska right now, 143 out of the 261 earthquakes USGS is reporting. And look at this, 168. Those numbers jumped right up to 384. So 169 earthquakes across a DAC, Alaska, the Tanaga volcano, quite possibly waking up. Minor activity here, northeast Yellowstone, Silvergate, Montana, as well, Richland, Oregon, just recently, a 3.1. Also wanted to share with you here, earthquakes from Canada. Look at all these earthquakes off the coast of British Columbia. Port Alice, BC. Juan de Fuca Plate seems very active. Yukon Territory. Lots of activity through Alberta. As well, northern BC. Look at here at Dawson Creek. We have a small earthquake swarm that's been occurring all month. Ontario and over into Quebec. Quebec border with New Brunswick. And that's earthquakes across Canada. I don't normally update that, but we've definitely seen an increase in activity as well northern regions towards Nunavut. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick update here, world weather starting out here, looking at windy models, windy.com. Some pretty big systems are gonna be coming into eastern parts of North America and as well the United Kingdom and Alaska. So watch for very windy systems here over the next few days through Ontario, Quebec, and as well all of Atlantic Canada. At the same time, you've got some pretty vicious systems here heading up into Alaska. Very windy conditions. So heads up, Alaska, northern BC, and as well, atmospheric rivers forming across California. Quick look here at the southern hemisphere and all of the low pressure systems spinning around. Very large low pressure systems forecast here. In the southern hemisphere, stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you a look at the upper lower levels, polar vortex, upper wind levels. Having a look here, we have two low pressure systems off the coast of California and Washington right now. Watch for rain and heavy snows through higher elevations. Large low pressure system through the Atlantic. And that's eventually going to head up towards the United Kingdom. But right now for Ontario, we're expecting a snowfall tomorrow, 10 to at least 20 centimeters of snow. Extreme weather for the Gulf states. Very windy conditions throughout the day tomorrow, up to 60 kilometer per hour winds. And as well, as, as I said, about 10 to 20 centimeters of snow. And that will be falling straight across northeastern United States. At the same time, you've got those huge lows penetrating the coastline here, Pacific Northwest. So watch for a heavy snowfall. Pacific Northwest and southward towards California be rain, except for higher elevations. Alberta Clipper here spinning by Saturday into Sunday, hopping across the border down into Wisconsin. Watch for extreme, extreme weather through the Gulf states and eastern Atlantic states, sorry, West Atlantic states, and then Snow is still going to be falling here 
next weekend, Monday into Tuesday. Quick look at the temperatures for the next little bit. We do have that polar vortex still hanging around here and we'll be pushing through every other day here, it seems. But some extreme cold temperatures there towards the end of the month, 18th into the 20th. There were in the spring, the 21st, and nowhere near seasonal temperatures just yet. A quick look here over looking at South America. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of northern Brazil. A couple low pressure systems affecting Argentina and as well as southern Chile. Other than that, no major systems affecting you, but could be electric this week with some very warm temperatures through the Amazon. Overlooking South America or South Africa and as well Madagascar, the track of Cyclone Freddy. Leaving South Africa Thursday into Friday this weekend coming up. 17th into the 18th, still a low pressure system heading into the Antarctic. So very strange weather patterns. Across the world, we've seen, now we've seen the longest living hurricane on the planet, Cyclone Freddy. Overlooking Europe, we do have a pretty big system heading into the United Kingdom, Sunday into Monday. But watch for these lows from the Atlantic to just start racing in this week. Extreme weather through parts of Italy and Central Europe next weekend. And then overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia. Quick look at the temperature transitions here as the polar vortex still producing some pretty cold temperatures for Russia as well. Towards the end of the month. And then overlooking Australia. And as well, the West Pacific. Low pressure center through eastern parts. Going to bring some pretty windy and extreme weather towards Sydney and northward. And then long-range forecast, possible cyclone developing for New Caledonia, and then another one for northern New Zealand. So stay tuned to the daily forecast as they do change sometimes overnight. Wanted to share with you the upper level winds here. At 100,000 feet, this is the, the polar vortex in the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere right now. Let's go back to 2022. This is what our polar vortex looked like at this time last year. Quite different compared to what it is right now, especially when it comes to the equatorial winds. Just look at the difference between these two maps, folks. Something is definitely off. So please, everybody, share this video with your friends and family. Much love. We are on this road together. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.